The Google Gemini 2.0 flash model now features an experimental image generation capability and it has been generating a lot of excitement. Let's take it for a spin and see if it lives up to the hype. To get started, head over to the Google AI Studio. Once you're logged in, ensure the model is set to Gemini 2 Flash Image Experimental. As of now, it is free to use, likely because it's still in the experimental phase. However, this might change in the future, so it's worth exploring while it's available at no cost. Also, don't forget to set the output format to image and text so that it can generate images for us. Now let's dive into testing. My first experiment is to see how well it can restore old photos. You can upload an image by clicking the Add button at the bottom right of the chat interface. I have an old photo that was shared with me by a viewer a while back. Honestly, I completely forgot about it, so my apologies for that. But this seems like the perfect opportunity to test whether the model can work its magic. Let's see how it performs. Let's give the model a prompt to restore the image. And nope, it stops generating because it flags the image as containing unsafe content. We do have the option to adjust the safety settings, but even after lowering all the safety thresholds, it still refuses to generate anything. Instead of using the entire photo, let's try cropping a portion of the image. Maybe that will bypass the issue. Still no luck. Time to switch to a different photo, this time of a single person and see if that works. Uh -uh. Nope, the same problem again. Alright, final attempt. Let's try it with this photo of a woman. Fortunately, this one works and the results are pretty impressive. We can even instruct the model to remove the sepia tones and convert the image to black and white, which it handles quite well. Before moving on to the next test, let's try one more restoration. The outcome is pretty cool, I'd say it did a great job. Now let's test how well it handles removing or replacing elements in an image. To start, I'll use this old photo where I want to remove the people on the street. It did follow the instructions to remove the people, but the removal was a bit too aggressive. It ended up deleting not just only the people, but also the horse carriage. Not exactly what I was going for. Next, here is a more challenging photo. Let's see how well it can remove or replace the background with a solid color. The result? Pretty useless. Alright, moving on to this beach photo. Let's try modifying the image by adding an object. First, I'll add a sailboat, but it looks awful. By the way, you can edit or delete the prompts you already issued to redo the last step. Instead of a sailboat, Let's try adding a yacht. Still, not very convincing. Maybe we can add a man next to the woman jogging on the beach? Well, that looks a bit better. However, I noticed that with each generation, the image quality degrades significantly. If I add some clouds, remove the man we just added, and then check the final result, well, let's say it doesn't look that great. In fact, it's pretty bad. For fun, let's try turning this into a night shot. Well, the result is actually quite amusing. One thing I've noticed is that it is surprisingly good at removing distractions. For example, we can easily remove the text from this image. Although in this case, it also removed the woman. But as with all AI tools, prompting is the key. By tweaking the instructions slightly, we can achieve the desired outcome. Here is another example where this tool really excels. When I ask to fix this particular image, it does an excellent job. Now take a look at this. We can effortlessly remove the coffee mug and the glasses from the table. And actually, it did a pretty good job. I can take a step further and ask it to change the hair color. While the result isn't terrible, it's definitely not exactly what I had envisioned. One thing I'm curious about is whether it can generate vector or SVG files. Let's test that out. Unfortunately, it can't handle the task. However, as this is also an LLM model, we do get a helpful response and if needed, we can continue asking for additional guidance. But here is something interesting. I can convert a vector image into an actual photo. By the way, 
Instead of uploading a photo, you can also paste images directly into the prompt. For this particular image, it did a pretty good job. Now let's try the reverse. I'll use this image with brand logos, but as we have seen earlier, we can easily remove them. Once that's done, let's attempt to convert it into a vector style image. Mm, it's kind of close, but not exactly what I was hoping for. Maybe reducing the colors will help? Still, not very convincing. How about turning it into a sketch or drawing? That looks okay, not perfect, but definitely possible. The model definitely isn't flawless. Sometimes it struggles to distinguish between the foreground and the background. For example, no matter what I try with this image, I can't isolate the woman and place her on a green background. On the other hand, as I mentioned earlier, I'm not a prompting expert. And the quality of prompts play a huge role in the final outcome. When it comes to replacing colors, it usually works well. For instance, in this photo, it did a decent job. However, when I tried to change the dress to black, it completely missed the mark. Maybe with better prompting, it could improve, but honestly, I think I'd be better off manually editing it rather than spending my time experimenting with prompts. In some cases, the model delivers excellent results. For example, removing the leaves in the background is a breeze and changing the hair color also works fairly well. I'm pretty sure it would take me significantly more time to achieve similar results manually. Now let's try a more challenging task. Changing colors in a more complex image. We can easily alter the colors of the dress and even adjusting the color of the couch works surprisingly well, despite the tricky sunlight in the photo. I think one of the best use cases for the AI tools is experimentation before committing to a final result. It allows you to quickly test different compositions and ideas. Even if the results aren't perfect, they give you a clear sense on how the final image might look without the need for retaking photos or performing complex edits. Take this example for instance. I was able to quickly generate an alternative version of the original image, which is a lot faster than manually doing it. As a final test, I want to see how well it can expand images. Let's start with just a face and see what it will make up. While it's significantly altered the original image, the end result isn't too bad. Let's give it an easier image to work with. After two prompts, I managed to generate a version with more background. This next photo is quite tricky, but the final result is definitely possible. While the results aren't perfect, with a little help from tools like Affinity Photo, we can make them look realistic. After generating the zoomed out version, I can open it up in Affinity Photo and overlay the original image on top. With some masking or in painting, we can achieve a very polished and professional result. All in all, these AI tools are getting better each day. But like with any tool, it is crucial to know how and when to use them. It's also important to understand how to combine the tools at your disposal effectively. You can't build a house just with a hammer. Well, maybe you could, but it certainly wouldn't be the optimal way of building a house and probably the result wouldn't be the most aesthetically pleasing either. To summarize, I think AI has a long way to go, but the Gemini 2.2 flash model shows a lot of promise. While it's free, I'll definitely recommend giving it a try. However, once it moves behind the paywall, it might not be worth the cost if you're only interested in the photo editing features. That said, as you can see, the model is capable of much more, like generating storylines, creating cards, and handling pretty much any text-based task you'd expect from any other AI chat model. So depending on your needs, it could still be a valuable tool, even with a price tag. Hope you liked this video. And thanks again for tuning in. Until the next video.